Everybody, hello there, my name is Rolfus. It's time we continue our conquest of the Japanese Isles in Victory at Sea. So, first and foremost, I'm going to go ahead and change out my captain. Oh, no, 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 not you. You have a level 1 captain, that's not good. Level 10, Yorktown, awesome. Let's go ahead and trade, trade you out for a level 1 captain from the... Wisconsin. Where is the Wisconsin actually? You're level 10. Oh, you're level 10 too. Okay, so we don't have to do crap. The reason why I want highly trained captains for my fleet is because essentially it allows me to fire faster and have a little bit more of an easier time with healing, which is pretty good all around. Okay. 10 ships versus 12. Two of those being torpedo boats, but the rest of them being highly trained killers. Ooh, we're going to have to take out the Nagoto class because that ship has as much range as our other battleships. Like the Kentucky. And the Amoto is also a problem, so in general... We need to be a little bit wary when using our fighters and bombers. And we need to use our fighters and bombers for this battle. Otherwise, we're just going to get pwned. Okay, we'll have six fighters defending our carriers. And then we'll have the rest of the fighters and bombers just defend uh, the battleships. then afterwards, once the fighters are all out, we're going to send in our bombers once we know where the Japanese air forces are. I don't want to send out my air force and then all of a sudden we get intercepted by a bunch of Japanese fighters and then we just die. Since the majority of our power is going to be in the air force. Okay. Pretty good stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and move out. Now, because we send out our fighters, you should send out his fighters. Yep, there we go. Alright, let's wave our bombers. These waves of planes are fighters. In general, we're just going to wait till these guys die. Yep, there we go. Now we send out the fighters and bombers. Well, now we send out the bombers. Okay, so where do we attack? Oh, well, obviously the Amato. We need to concentrate all fire on that Yamoto. Once the Yamoto dies, this mission is going to be a lot easier. Like, I mean a lot easier. Since then, we only have to worry about a couple of 8-inch cannons and afterwards a 16-inch, and then we're all good. Oh, uh, now let's see. Hold on a sec. Carrier. 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 Ah. He didn't send out this carrier. Okay, all good stuff. Now we can continue the game plan. Oop. That ain't good. Torpedoes are gonna hit us in the butt. No. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, good. Good shit. Lexington, what are you doing? Intrepid, what are you doing? My ships are dumbasses. There we go. Stay in that box over there. Just chill. Alright, push comes to shove. Seems like everything is A OK -okay for the most part. Ooh Nelly. Watch that health bar drop, girl. Watch that health drop 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 like a booty.
Uh, did we take out the Yamato? Yes, we did. God bless. Okie dokie. Everything is all sound in the universe. And the majority of our fighters are still alive, which is good. Now with quick successive fire. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> the carrier just completely rear-ended my battleship. What a douche. What a douche. Gary, what are you even doing here? I'm supposed to go back. Alright, well whatever. It doesn't matter. Nagaro is pretty much dead at this point. Calabunga, dudes. Now the next ship we should target is the Nagoto right over there. But for now it seems like everything's fine. We can just chill out. Okay, now let's go back into real time. And send out our next wave. Nagoto, your ass is now grass. Ooh, we have a lot of stuff for you today. A full course meal. Made by the finest chefs in the American Navy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Bon appetit. Okay, it seems pretty good. Now a couple of these ships have actually reached us. So we're gonna we're gonna have to go ahead and target them. Yeah, the Congo Balkus are being one of them. most part again quick successive shots are basically guaranteed wins at this point Ooh, that was a nasty hit wow it was a giant explosion hey day how dare you call me day I just, I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it no more. How come the bombers have still not yet been able to destroy the Nagoto? Like, come on now. can't survive from this come on come on yeah you're dead come on you can die right yeah you can die good Oh, the next step is for us to kind of kill this heavy cruiser. That's about it. Oh, you have bombers. Good. Good. Thank you. Now, when you can use those bombers, please tell me. It's all over now. All ogre now. Come on, step into the light. Step into the light. It's pretty. It's a nice, beautiful day in hell. No, the sun is out. The sun is granted always out, but hey, it's a nice uh, 700 Celsius out. Your town is idle. Where the fuck are you going? 
I don't know what's up with the bot the carriers, but they always seem to try to leave. I like the guy and the old people in the retirement homes who are like, "Oh, please help! I'm being beaten by this 17-year-old at Call of Duty." What? Screen's locked. Okay, now it's fixed. But unfortunately, we weren't able to send out the fighters in time. That kind of blows. Okay, battleships, it's now time for you to essentially wipe out the Japanese once and for all. Oh, it doesn't matter if we've lost most of the assault craft because we can just come back and destroy you. Love how the screen's tilted a little bit. It's like, wee! Game is all topsy turvy today, folks. Your Pentecostal move forward and take on anybody you see. Right now, all we have to do is worry about destroyers, and that's about it. Carrier will soon be dead. Soon. I mean, I promise, his ass is now grass. Actually, let me just go ahead and have my battleships go on autopilot. And heck, we'll have our cruisers as well go on autopilot. Well, not our cruisers, our carriers as well. Why not? It's impossible for my ships to actually die at this point. If they do die, it's by either the will of Guru Lahima or their own stupidity. Also friendly fire, which is a problem. Alright, torpedo boat and that's it. You just took it like a man. You were like, fuck it. I'm not even gonna deal with it. We did suffer a defeat, yes. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Because we're gonna walk into Yokosuka and go like, hey, boys. We're back. And they're like, oh shit, it's Admiral Whiskers. Let's just open up the ports. Give him an ice cream cone and uh, call it a day. You know what? That's exactly what I did. I took over Yokosuka. Like a man. Now... I can't have any more ships, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Now, took over your Kutsuka. What's left? One more main island Japanese port, and that's it. That's, that's it. Then we're done with the main island Japanese ports. Afterwards, I'm not sure what's next. To be honest, there shouldn't be anything else left, but heck, apparently there's... Still stuff that we need to do. I'm not sure what. I, I guess they want me to spring clean the entire map or something. I don't know. My Zura. Well, hello there. How are you today? My name is Admiral Whiskers, and I'll be your, your guest. Treat me well? Maybe? No? Okay. And we do have a one Yamoto class. We have a Nagoto. Carriers. Uh, fuck. Standard flare. I always hate fighting off against carriers. It's always a pain in the butt. But you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Because nobody else will. No one's gonna wipe your ass for you, you're gonna have to wipe it yourself. Unless you're filthy rich, in, in which case you probably can like afford people to wipe your ass for you, but I mean 
There's always some satisfaction with wiping your ass that you never get if someone else does it for you. You did it yourself. Yeah, good job. You didn't need anybody to help you. I mean, that's what I got when I first learned how to get potty trained. I was a big boy then. It's my, it's my time to shine. Now then, here comes the fighters. Okay, okay. As long as, as soon as they're all destroyed, we're sending them out. I mean, we're sending out our own bombers. Okay, here they are. Right over here. Now, let's send out the horde. Where's the Yamato? Yamato, Yamato. There we go. There's the Yamato. Okie dokie. He's fucked. There's no way for him to escape out of this situation. Every single carrier will unleash the horde onto the Yamato. And the Yamato's gonna go like, oh, sweet Jesus. What's going on? Where's the bombers coming from? And I'm just like, right here? They're coming from here? Alrighty then, friends. Move out. Oh, wait, hold on. Bring the Pentecostals back. Bring everything back. Oh, shit, 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 shit. This is bad. This is actually really bad. Okay. Hold on. Hold on now. We need to stay here in this area. Our little safe zone. There we go. Now we can move forward. You don't want to go too far. What? You're back already? Really? How did you... How did you get back around? Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. That is just weird. And the Lexington retreated. What a douchebag. It's always Lexington who retreats first. Oh well, we took out the Yamato. That's good enough. Let me go ahead and slow down the game a little bit because the Nagoto does have the same range as us. And you know what? Since now I don't really care about my carriers anymore, let's just have them move out with the goof troop. Send out their fighters whenever they want. Because the biggest threat to them is now completely destroyed. He's six feet under the ocean. Chilling out with Poseidon in Atlantis. Okay. A little bit hard to take on the Nagoto, but not impossible. Look at that. We got a lucky hit. We can get more of these hits too. I'm feeling lucky, buddy. Seems like you ain't feeling lucky, punk. And get bitch slapped. More volleys like that, and then this dude is gonna be 20 feet under the sea. We still we have we have a heavy cruiser to deal with, but for the most part, that heavy cruiser is gonna be absolutely nothing. Actually, hold on. He is doing some damage. That's he's a little bit of a, a harebrained schemer. Battleship took some punishment. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty much impressed. But I am easy to impress, so haha! -ha. Please just go to Japanese heaven or hell. Home with destroyers is that they're really fucking fast. 
Well, they're also super easy to kill. There we go. Okay, so right about now, have this guy chill out over here. This guy chill out over here. And we'll just wait for our bombers to finish off the job. Where's the destroyer? Ah, yes, attack the carrier. At great speeds. There you go. Come on, buddy boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Submarine, it's time for you to face the wrath of Khan. What? The AI for the sucks. Oh my god, you missed. Okay, never mind. You didn't miss that time. No! What are you? Oh, you idiots! You torpedoed the destroyer! Oh! That was our one way to kill the submarine. Gone completely gone so now we have to operation we have to go back to plan b what's plan b well plan b is to have all of our ships retreat and wait for the troop transports to essentially get back to the mainland you giant dumbasses hey, lucky submarines are slow as balls There you go. Submarine doesn't give a rat's ass about you. Like, he's just like, ah, I am slugging off your torpedoes and your dive bombers. Because they are nothing, nothing to me. I can't believe I'm forced to essentially wait till all the troop transports are out. Because you killed the only way to destroy the submarine. You bastards. You know, I was trusting the AI, and then all of a sudden the AI just like slapped me in the face. Oh well, we won. Thank god submarines can't fly. Or walk on land. Yeah, I guess we're gonna need to recover that ship. We did it. Did it? Discovered covert intelligence, but we've conquered the entire of the, the entirety of the Japanese island. So I mean, what else is there left to do? Whoa! What's this? My fellow Americans, Supreme Allied Commander General MacArthur and Allied representatives on the battleship Missouri in Tokyo Bay. The thoughts and hopes of all America, indeed of all the civilized world are centered tonight on the battleship Missouri. There, on that small piece of American soil, anchored in Tokyo Harbor, the Japanese have just officially laid down their arms. God bless! They have signed terms of unconditional surrender. We did it! Fuck yeah! Ameri the land of the free and the home of the brave, led by Ad General Admiral Dr. Whiskers the third of the great American Navy. Our valiant actions have helped bring the war to an end in the Pacific. And now I can finally get back to my wife and 17 children. Thank you guys for watching this let's play. Or rather this documentary of a great and glorious man named Admiral Whiskers. He is a god among mere mortals. And that's it for Victory at Sea. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you guys next time. It's a little bit unfortunate, but we were only able to drop one nuke and we weren't able to drop the second nuke. But hey, I guess less nuclear radiation, the better. However, it kind of sucks that we weren't able to control the nuke itself. Oh, well. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.